Hey everyone, it's Marina from Diamond Painting with the Besties. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. I hope everyone is having a fabulous start to their week. So today we have a post review. If you had remembered, I had gotten um, some kits sent to me from Craft Art Club. So if you missed that unboxing, I'll go ahead and link it up in the eye right there. So thank you once again, Craft Art Club for sending me these. These were so much fun. I love them. So the first one we have, I call it Coffee Cat because it's literally this black kitty cat with this look on his face like, are you seriously talking to me right now? Because I'm having my coffee. I love the colors. There was a, a little bit of confetti, but mostly it was uh, color blocking. But I just love how all the colors flow into each other. The only downfall of this canvas, and I think that it was just this particular one because my other one was super, super sticky. There were some areas like right here, more at the bottom, in the bottom half, where the glue wasn't that sticky and I had a hard time uh, multi-placing, but I was able to single place just fine. Um, and then once I got further up onto the canvas, it was just multi, multi, multi-placing and it was good to go. So I really think that it just was that little one section that didn't get enough glue. Not a big deal. It still turned out great. Um, let me bring it up. I had, it's a round, so 30 by 40 round. I had no trash at all. And I normally don't save my extra gels from the budget kits just because I would have way too many. But as you can see, um, you know, he does look way better further away, but that's how it normally is with the smaller kits. Um, the drills were really shiny. They were really good quality, no static at all. And I really like the steam coming off the coffee. I think it looks pretty realistic and just his face is too cute. And even if you look at the colors, the way they're um, charted up in his ears, it, you can really t actually, to me, it looks like there's fur in his ears. So I really liked this one. Um, this one's gonna go right in a frame because Bryant is gonna put this up in his kitchen. The next one that we have is Jigsaw. And I literally just finished it a little while ago. Um, and I'm just kind of going over it to make sure that I don't have any drills. Oh, there's one right here. Some drills sticking up. This one is a 30 by 40 square. And it's my first square from a budget-friendly site. The colors were great. Up close, I was kind of worried of how he would look, especially his hands, but when you look at this further away, you can definitely see two hands on the little um, handles on his tricycle, with his little face and everything, his receding hairline. This was so much fun to work on, and I'm apologizing for that noise because my neighbor literally wanted to start mowing the lawn. Whatever. So. Here is the trash I had left, if you can even call it that, because some of it was uh, some drills that had fallen off my coffee cat or some drills that uh, were on the canvas that I was too lazy to put away. So that literally was it. The orange is obviously from the coffee cat. So relatively no trash at all. There were 16 colors in Jigsaw. So it was really manageable. I forgot to tell you in Coffee Cat, there were um, 20 colors in Coffee Cat. Since I did finish, oh my, since I did finish, like recently just finish Jigsaw, I do have the leftover drills because I haven't tossed them yet. I had plenty, especially like the 310. I just used my little Harbor Freight containers. Uh, 939. The only colors that I was close, if you could even call it that, was uh, 3865 and 819. But still, there's still plenty in there. 
So, um, other than that, these were just, you know, plenty left over. So, that's it. I highly recommend if you're looking for some budget-friendly kits or some snack size kits to go ahead on over to DP Craft Art Club. I don't know why I just said Craft Art Club and check them out. They usually have some sales. Sometimes they'll have a buy four, get one free. Um, I highly recommend them. They're really easy to work with and... Their customer service is really great. And Lisa, she's really awesome as well. I will link uh, DP Club's, or Craft Art Club, I apologize. Craft Art Club down in the description below. And I also believe that um, Lisa also has an Instagram page, which I will also link below as well. So... Jigsaw is going to go ahead and go into my finished little binder that I have, my portfolio. And I'm going to go throw a coffee cat in a frame right now. So that's all I have for this. Just a really quick post review for you guys. And once again, thank you Craft Art Club for allowing me to show your kits. I really enjoyed them and I had a great time. All right, you guys. Till next time. I'll talk to you later. Be safe and be kind. Bye. Bye.